A lot of times, you may need to convert PowerPoint to the video file. And you can quickly accomplish this in the latest version of PowerPoint using the slideshow ribbon. For example, I have one slide presentation here on the screen, and if I navigate to the slideshow, I can see Record Slideshow button right here in the ribbon. Because I only have one slide, it doesn't matter if I select Record from Current Slide or Record from the Beginning. But when I choose this option, PowerPoint presents me with the recording screen. At this point, I'm not recording anything, but you can control the recording, start and stop it in the upper left corner using Record, Stop and Replay buttons. One of the things that you may need to configure, though, is your microphone. And you do it by navigating to the Settings option and selecting the right microphone for your recording. You can also select a webcam if you have one, which in my case, I do not. There are three very important concepts you need to consider before starting your recording. Narration, animation, and highlights. Narration allows you to record voice over the slide and store it along with the presentation. Between the moments of you starting and stopping the presentation, PowerPoint captures the audio for the presentation. And then you can use it for live presentation if you're trying to automate the slideshow, where you can replay the narration. And also, this narration will be used to export MP4 video file. Another important concept in PowerPoint called animation. Animation is the group of visual effects to bring objects on and off the slides, which Microsoft calls entrances and exits. For example, I can add animation to the title, which is a separate object, by navigating to the Animation tab and picking the type of animation that I would like. In my case, I'm going to pick the Fade, which is one of the most common and traditional options used in PowerPoint animations. When I do this, you see number one showing up next to the element. And if you click on Animation pane, you will see that I have multiple elements in Animation pane and their sequence in order. I can rearrange the elements by dragging them. I can remove the elements by right mouse clicking and selecting Remove. To start the recording, you click Record Slideshow button. And you typically have multiple windows that enable you to control the presentation. In Control Window, you can record, stop and replay the presentation. You can also add some highlights for the presentation on the slide to make it more dynamic. And you control all the aspects and settings for the slideshow recording. Let's go ahead and start the recording. In this presentation, we're trying to show how to convert PowerPoint to video file. And you see that our animation that we've added just showed up as soon as I click with the mouse on the screen. In addition to animation and narrations, you can also highlight some elements on the screen as needed. To do this, you select the highlighter and highlight the areas of the screens which will be recorded. You can pick different colors and different types of the highlighter. At this point, I am going to click the stop to stop the recording. To check the quality of my recording, I can replay it now. And as you can see, it shows that I captured the voice as well as the animations. When you're happy with the results, you can close this window. Keep in mind that everything that you recorded now becomes part of the presentation, even the highlights that you've made, which you could delete by selecting them and removing from the screen using the Delete button. Now we have captured everything we need to create MP4 file. We've captured narrations, we've captured animations, and we've captured the highlights that we wanted to make in the presentation. All of this information is stored within PPTX file. And now you can export it into different formats. One of them is MP4. To export it into MP4 format, you click on the file and then export. And here you have an option to create video. You have multiple different dimensions for the video that you would like to create. You can create videos based on your resolution. For example, I am recording this on the 4K monitor. You can also use Full HD, which is 1080p HD or standard resolution. Once you select required resolution, you click Create Video button. And PowerPoint prompts you where you would like to store the file. Once you click Save, it starts the rendering process. And you see results of rendering in the status bar at the bottom of PowerPoint presentation. Once rendering is complete, you can play the final file in your default video player, which in my case, I have VLC Media Player. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Skills that you learn here will be helpful for you now and also in the future. You also get opportunity to help other people by answering their questions and helping them solve their challenges. If you like the content, 
please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.